Tatatina, Shorty, and Mango. Apart from my land purchase problem in Sikihor, this is another problem that I have in the island. It's a cute problem. Yeah, it's cute, but it's a lot of work and it's a big responsibility. These are the dogs that I have in Sikihor. These are actually stray dogs and I am taking care of them because no one is taking care of them. No one owns them. They are regular dogs here in this property so they just always come home here. And good news is three of them gave birth all at the same month I believe if I remember well. This mango gave birth first to five cute puppies. Look at them. They are so cute, right? So mango gave birth under the house that I am renting. So that's why it looks so super dark there because the light can't go inside. I have a situation here. So there are two dogs. Yes, the situation is so bad here. There are these uh, two dogs, Patatina and Shorty gave birth to... 10 puppies, 5 for each, no, 4 for Patatina, 6 for Patatina, and then 4 for Shorty. But the problem is they give birth in the same spot. So it means that all their babies are mixing up. But anyway, you can tell which are the older ones because the older ones are bigger. So what I'm doing here is I am trying to uh, clean up the mess a little bit, remove all this... Um, remove all this mess here so that i can reach the puppies so the two dogs here are barking because they are actually fighting because the other dog doesn't want the other dog to go close to her puppies and yeah it's not it's not easy so this is a bang house this is like a barracks it's where they put all their scraps serves as a storage as well all the things that they want to put away they just put all here like beer bottles trash actually a lot of uh, junks and there you go these are the older puppies they're actually scattered under this barracks and this is shorty who wants to get her puppies but patatina doesn't want her to take the, any puppies the thing is patatina is also taking good care of shorty's puppies she thinks all the puppies here are hers so that's where the problem is because shorty couldn't take her puppies and couldn't feed them because of that now i i tried taking some of shorty's puppies i was thinking maybe shorty will follow me i will take out her puppies and then she will follow me and then i could separate all their puppies but that's not happening because patatina is the one who's following me and she wants to take the puppy back this is your baby come here this is your baby okay so i put it here i put shortest puppy here but Stop, i just gave up baby. in the end because they will resolve their issue on their own mango the second and back to the mango's mango puppies i am so planning cute. to take them out of the oh, under the house already because they are getting bigger i'm scared that they they'll get big they'll grow up inside and they won't be able to come out or they will have a hard time coming out after a few weeks i decided that i'm going to wash all of them because they are infested of fleas yeah every time i wash them this is what i get i think i got a lot of rashes in my body because of flea bites i literally see fleas crawling on my legs on my thighs on my ankle on my arm mango's puppies and shorty's puppies they are all infested with fleas but i can wash them already because they're big enough to be washed not only that i also bought them a powder to kill the fleas after i wash them i put the powder so that to make sure that the fleas will die so there you go they are like seasoned puppies ready to be grilled 
These are 10 poppies. I combined shorties and mangoes poppies so that I can wash them all. And this is the last one that I'm washing. Look at how infested that face is. I promise you, I know they were so relieved after I washed them because I got rid of most of the fleas that they have. And this is the first one that I washed. And as you can see, it's very clean, doesn't have fleas anymore. So all of these puppies that I'm washing now, it will be the same. After drying them, I'm going to put the same powder so that uh, to make sure that the fleas will die. If I was not here, I am sure that these puppies are not going to survive. Yes, I'm feeding them, I'm buying them dog food, I'm washing them, I'm buying them powder, I'm taking good care of them. So they are in safe hands, they're in good hands. And now it's time to get and check the small puppies, the six puppies that are still very tiny. I couldn't wash them yet, but I think I am going to do it because the infestation is just too much and they're still very very small they're infested with fleas they are not going to survive it if i don't do something just look at that just look at their faces they have a lot of wounds on their skin and look at their faces how much fleas crawling on their face it's just really really bad situation for them and i don't have a choice even if they're still very small and tiny I need to take good care of them so voila here they are they look like it's ready to grill they're so cold this time so I put them under the sun to dry and here you go mangoes puppy they're growing so fast and uh, sometimes I let them play inside the house because they like staying inside the house I don't know I think because the floor is very clean and slippery and they can they can play like this and it's a new place for them it's a new environment for them inside the house and they like it even mango is playing with them here they're so cute so i checked on shorty's puppies to see if they still have fleas but this is the day after i wash them and as you can see they're very clean now and no more fleas but i need to maintain washing them all the time and putting powder so that they will be always clean in sikihor there's a significant stray dog problem many residents are too busy caring for their families and other responsibilities to address this issue as a result, stray dogs multiply rapidly. So Some barangays resort to dog poisoning, especially targeting those dogs that stay on the road. They poison the dogs to control the growing number of dogs in the island and also to control rabies cases and prevent accidents. I've been trying to find homes for these stray puppies, but so far I've managed only to give away four. Right now, I still have 11 puppies to look after. My landlord mentioned that some of their friends are interested in adopting 5 of them. I'm taking good care of these puppies, making sure they're clean and healthy so they can find loving homes. And I hope this is helping the island and the dog problems here at least. This is the best that I can do to help the dogs and the island as well with their stray dogs problem.